Hi guys and welcome to Amabiker.com and well this is not the XSR 155 that we wanted this is the Yamaha FZX and let's check out what it's all about. So with the Yamaha FZX, uh, Yamaha has tried to recreate the magic or the beauty of the XSR 145 available abroad uh, in terms of its looks, but they have used the same FZ platform, which means you get the same engine, but of course, uh, you know, tweaks to the handlebar, the seating, and uh, you know the, the trail basically of the front forks. And of course, you get new uh, tires as well, which add to that slightly you know, on-off road credential. So in terms of engine, uh, it is the same FZ engine, right? So we know exactly how it performs. You know, it feels stocky. It's good fun in the city. Uh, you know, there's there's no issues. It's refined, and you know, it's it's been an engine that's been tested you know, on the FZ series, and it does its job uh, very good here as well. In terms of uh, city riding, uh, there's no overheating. Uh, gear shifts are good. Gear shifts are easy. No false neutrals. Very precise. Uh, you get good mileage. Uh, it's definitely closer to the 35-40 mark and uh, for a city use bike that's definitely good. Uh, in terms of top speed, yeah, it's uh, we didn't really push it, you know, because we consider this as a city bike. So we did, uh, however, get to somewhere around 100, but uh, that's that's higher up in the revs and does not serve the purpose of this bike. But yeah, you can do about 80-90 cruising all day without any stress. So the one thing that I like about this design is that, you know, the tank is nice and massive. Uh, you know, it, it feels like you're sitting on, and especially from this angle, I mean, probably from that wide angle, I, I know there's an awkward space here, but uh, the tank looks really good. Now, what I would have really liked and what, what I feel would have really pulled off this design, if the seat was flat, uh, I really feel that that would have been a game changer. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, the most important thing is that the seats are comfortable and uh, you sit in a very relaxed position. Feet is a little bit forward. I actually would have liked it if the foot pegs were a little bit, a uh, little bit rear set. Now it feels almost cruiserish, which means it is actually quite relaxed. But my personal taste is that it should have been uh, a bit more uh, rear set uh, than what it is right now. Uh, one of the key thing that I like about this bike is that the, the, the meter console and the, how it has been integrated onto the whole thing. So this whole unit looks very well put and the meter console also looks pretty good and uh, you have a, a power outlet over here which you can you know use it for your chargers and things like that and this is also a connected meter console so you have a Yamaha app through which you can uh, connect and get all sort of your ride details and you know call alerts and all those things so that is another good feature coming to the handling so you know it is and it is a Yamaha and it behaves like a Yamaha I mean uh, even though it looks like this, it feels and uh, you know it looks not as sporty, but it feels very good to handle it through the city. It feels very light. The front end feels light, so uh, when you're riding it through the city and when you want to come through traffic, tight spots, it is very light, very easy to ride it through the traffic. And at the at the same time, when you want to have fun on some winding roads, uh, the handlebar gets that weight with a little bit of speed. And it also feels very good and like a typical Yamaha, it handles extremely well and uh, it, it, it feels very good to, you know, uh, you know do some fun and, and you know, take those corners a bit faster than you usually do and you still have the bike keep up with you. So uh, in terms of headlight, well, uh, the headlights are decently powerful for city use. Of course, there are other glaring lights in, in typical LED style. Uh, they go invisible, but uh, I would not recommend these headlights for the highway, but for city use and in general uh, porting around, uh, it's fine. And I actually like the headlight design. I wish it was a bit more bigger to basically maybe cover up a bit more space under the meter. But other than that, I think it looks uh, very good. And then now coming to the braking side of things, it's got uh, disc brakes at both ends. 
and you know like i said in the handling you expect a yamaha to handle and brake well and and this does the job as well and i'm surprised that these tires allow you that also you know being button tires usually they have a slightly lesser grip than your normal tires but uh, these also uh, provide good grip and uh, there's no absolutely no drama even in panic panic braking so you also have a single channel abs uh, system as well which assists you in terms of you know those really panicky situations where you just grab on the brake and uh, talking about riding you know in city and stuff the riding position like i said is comfortable and seats are also comfortable so no issues there and even with the pillion uh, you have enough space to move around and you don't feel that much fatigue uh, even if you have a pillion for a long time and uh, continuing on riding comfort uh, the suspensions uh, front the front and back are decently soft so you know it helps you absorb the potholes and the road undulations quite well and uh, even if you had those different undulations on the road right where you know a tar set tar piece of tar ends and a new one begins this is a 1 inch difference even those kind of bumps don't uh, hurt your back so it's really comfortable and combined with the relaxed riding position it's a really good city bike so guys that's the all the details about the yamaha fzx i know a lot of you guys wanted the xsr 155 but what the pictures don't tell you is that how small and actually compact the xsr 150 155 is and uh, what yamaha have done is that uh, try to recreate that magic with the existing fc lineup and uh, it does for me after riding it uh, i like it much better let me say that and uh, for me the only thing like i told you earlier is i wish the seat was a bit flat to complete that look but i really think this is uh if if you like the looks then definitely it's something you can consider and it's it's a beautiful motorcycle it carries all the positives of the FZ series forward uh and while also having a very different approach different approach and a relaxed ride so that's it guys thank you for watching do check out our channel and all our social media and connect with us over there thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one